In our previous interviews with Dr. Harvey Biggleson, we spoke of the damage done to the body's immune system from surgery. In this conversation, we speak about how the medical establishment uses its power to keep new and alternative treatments away from their client base through coercion, legal witch hunts, and lawmaking. Harvey knows this all too well and has written a book titled The Medical Conspiracy in America. In addition, we talked about some exciting new news on stem cell therapy. Healthcare is states rights. I wrote a law in Arizona allowing MDs and osteopaths to, once they're licensed, they can go under their own law, the homeopathic medical law. Okay, that was a completely different law, like a chiropractic law. The governor, Governor Babbitt, appointed me to run the law and set the standards. Well, I became very outspoken because we had now homeopathy, the philosophy was equal to medicine, MD work in Arizona. Well, I got on TV shows, I got on radio shows, and the next thing I knew, all of a sudden my, I had patients calling me that uh, Medicare was calling them and they wanted to know about me and stuff like that. They then came in and started to take files out of my office and subpoenaed files. They even took two-year-old kid files out. Two-year-old children? Yeah, I said, you have no right to do that. It made no difference. They just smiled at me in their trench coats carrying my boxes out. And so they were doing this because they were trying to catch you on any kind of irregularity, including illegible handwriting? A anything. Or they, if a patient complained, they said, oh, he charged me too much for an office visit, well, they, they would take that. They ended up indicting me on 117 counts of Medicare fraud, totaling $3,500 <laughs> after three years. Now, my business at that time, I had eight practitioners, 20 staff. My business did over a couple million dollars gross. Okay, with all the practitioners. So that was a lot of activity. Right. And they found $3,500 in Medicare for the set. At the same time, Senator Bill Frist opened a chain of HMOs around the country, and he got a Medicare misdemeanor for $1.7 billion. And yours I got was a not a misdemeanor. No, mine, mine was a fraud. Mine was a, a felony. felony. A felony for $3,500. He got a misdemeanor for $1.7 billion and wrote a check to cover it. Okay. And went on to a life in politics. Right. And I was, basically, they, uh, I, we had to negotiate because they would have thrown me in jail. I got four years probation, and I, the, the whole story was, give up all your licenses and get out of the United States. That's what I was told. Harvey brings first-hand info as to the medical conspiracy as his life was nearly ruined by the AMA and other organizations. For the full-length interview, go to cmn.tv.